The 7880 Autofocus Digital Vision Viewer Document Camera is a great solution for showing documents, uh, objects, or any type of materials underneath the camera, and it will help quickly autofocus and bring your material or specimen into focus. Once you have installed Applied Vision 4 software on your computer, the document camera is very easy to use. It is a plug and play feature so all you have to do is plug the USB end into your USB port and launch Applied Vision 4 software. Opening Applied Vision 4 software will automatically enact that your document camera live camera will show up as you see. First you want to go up to the left hand corner Click File, Properties, and make sure all of your check marks are checked and activated. This launches your camera each time. You can see our camera is the USB video device. We have taken no snapshots. There is an advanced feature with image comparison we'll talk about later. And the most important thing to do first is the Help section. You're going to want to make sure you go and update your options. I would say you always want to download and install all updates every time they're offered. We usually put out updates every couple months. Click OK. Next, we'll bring your camera live into full view. As you see, we'll go through some of the buttons. You can do full screen viewing. You select the full screen button, and that's going to be shown on your computer. And if you're hooked up to a projector, it will show this full screen of whatever you have underneath. You do have buttons on that right side. You can flip images, make them darker and brighter, zoom in very far as you see, or return to that original picture. Exit out. And your next button is going to be Take Snapshot and Annotate. So this is where you're taking a still image snapshot. And now you have annotation tools that you can use. I could freehand paint. I could use text. Um, I could do rectangles, squares, lines. You have many options to annotate with. All you have to do is pick an annotation that you want to use. Pick a size, that's for my lines, you can see, and pick a color. So we are going to pick red, and I'm going to show you some freehand. There is a nice circle. And just FYI that all of these tools work with an interactive whiteboard if you're using it with an interactive whiteboard. Text. Next, I'm going to write in what I'm seeing. Flowers. And you see right now, I can't really see my text very well. So this is when you go and use your selection tool. You press on it. Now I can move my text anywhere I want. I can make it larger with the tiny blue arrows. And I can change the color. Green. I like the green. Click out of that box and it's set and ready to go. Next you can see I'm picking the square tool. We do have just an outline border square. And we also have a filled in square. Finally, you'll see the line. You can choose line. You can choose what you want to draw. Very simple. Next, you can save an image. When you save an image, you can save it as a .svg file. That means you'll be able to open it back up in Applied Vision 4 software and annotate with it. Now, if you're planning on exporting this into another program like PowerPoint, I would save it as a JPEG. Name your file and export the image. Right now, you see it's exporting at 1280 by 1024 pixels. That's because we're at that high resolution. Keep that pixels when you're doing single snapshots. Press OK. You can also copy the picture on a clipboard, and that allows you to insert it into another program such as Microsoft PowerPoint. You can open an image if you want, open a saved image. You can also print to a saved image. Then you can finally undo and redo what you've annotated on the subject. So you're going to see that it's doing both of these. Finally, that little broom's uh, going to allow you to clear all your images. But once you hit this to clear all in Im images, then you're not going to be able to bring them back up at the end. Now we're looking at a live image view of some text. You're going to see that when I press Enable Autofocus, that means that my camera is always going to be focusing on what's ever underneath it. So you see it's auto-focused in on the text. Um, you can see I put my finger in and you're going to see that 
When you start adding objects into the camera view, the autofocus is always going to magically, as you're seeing, readjust. So my suggestion is once you have uh, the document or the specimen you have underneath it, I would disable the autofocus so it's going to keep whatever I'm looking at in focus. Then I can add features in without it uh, going bonkers on you and kind of making you seasick. As you can see, I'm showing you take a snapshot of it. You can underline a text. Maybe have the students figure out what this line means. Hark, hark. What does that mean? Um, so many applications in language arts um, that you can use. And now we're going to move to a couple other features. It's going to be our recording feature. You can record with this software. Um, you're just going to have to save your file name and press record. Uh, once it starts recording, you have to manually stop it. So if you record it for two hours, you're going to press stop and it's going to save that for you automatically. You can time lapse record as well. With time lapse recording, you're going to be picking how many times a second I want a picture taken. Here I'm going to do every 150 seconds I'm taking a picture. Then I'm going to press OK and you're going to stop that recording again once you're finished with your time lapse recording and that will be set and ready for your use as well. Now let's say that you put a document under there and it was the wrong side. You just need to flip it. Hit that document orientation button. You see it flipping right side up back and forth very easily. You can also do the rotation of your image. We can mess with the color a little. You can move the brightness if you wish. Um, if you don't like it, always hit reset defaults. Um, we can add a little bit of um, there we go, contrast. So choose how much contrast you want for your image and also some saturation. This is an older book we're looking at. Maybe I want to bring the colors out a little more. So feel free to play with that. It's fun to experience. Next, if I want to zoom in on, say, the text, um, I'm going to go and hit custom zoom. You can see it brings it a lot closer up, so you're never having to move your head as much of the document camera, and you can read it very easily. Finally, that last button I leave alone focus because I have the button on my main page to enable my autofocus and disable it by itself. Finally, I'm going to show you how what happens if I would exit out of my camera view. How do I bring it back up? Um, very easily, you have that big open cameras tab on the left. I hit open cameras. Anything that is attached to my computer as a camera, it's going to open for you. So there you go. You bring your camera right back up. You also can quickly open an image that you've saved um, previously. And if you open one of those images that have the little E beside it, that means it's an all image format. So you're going to be able to annotate and use all the tools of Applied Vision 4 with this image. So you see I'm opening up a spider very easily. Let's just draw real quickly and you can see my annotation occurring. Okay, I'm going to pick no. Next, you can also open videos that you've saved. So here's a video of um, a physics demonstration. And with this video, you have the options to go full screen and also to take a snapshot of a certain part of the video that you want to capture maybe. So say I wanted this specific part in this video, all I have to do is capture it and I can save that picture for later. So that's a great feature. So this is Applied Vision 4 software. I'm closing out of it and I just opened Skype. What's great about KineVision document cameras is that they are driverless. So in Skype, I'm moving over to my video settings and I want to use this as a webcam. So I have a microphone hooked up and then I'm using, there you go, your 7080 Vision Viewer, there I am, as a webcam. So many, many uses for this and with the driverless feature of Apply Vision 4 software, you can use it in many ways possible.